I'm going to guys on Hebrews chapter 11, uh, reading from verse 1, and looking at this aspect of faith, which is such a critical part of our walk with the Lord. Uh, we can move mountains if we've got a, a faith as, as much as a mustard seed, and we don't get healed because God says you don't have enough faith, then uh, we save through faith alone. And so faith is um, a fundamental issue when we come to spirituality we can have faith also in the wrong things and we can faith and trust in people and a car to get you from a to b but what is a faith um, towards god so let's look at um, hebrews 11 it says in verse 1 now faith is assurance in the king james or substance of things hoped for and so uh, we hope for a better eternity with God. We hope that we get to heaven. And when we have absolute confidence or assurance in that what Christ can do to get us there, that's faith. The conviction, or in King James, the evidence of things not seen. And I think if there's absolute proof, visible proof, tangible proof, then it's not faith. But if you believe in God who you cannot see and you put all your trust in Him, then that's faith. Um, and so true faith is not based on empirical, empirical evidence. It's based on um, believing what God can do. And we know that God is faithful. God is true. God has proved Himself. Um, every promise has come true. So we can completely trust and rely on God. And so... Like I was saying at the beginning, we need to know where is our faith directed? Um, is it directed in, in people or things? Or is it directed in God who is completely trustworthy, completely true, um, and the only one who is able to save us and bring us to heaven one day? Um, sometimes people, when it comes to healing, they have faith in themselves to believe. If only, And they sort of almost force a... A false kind of faith I believe I believe I believe and they kind of um, have a, a faith that's not real it's not based God says the faith in him is what we need and so we are saved by faith in Jesus Christ and ultimately Ephesians 2 verse 10 says or 8 says it's a gift so it comes starts as saving faith as a gift and then once we receive that gift of salvation and we believe on Jesus, um, then we need to build on that faith. And so the Bible talks about uh, on us building daily and, and going from faith to faith. And that is through His Word and through the Holy Spirit. So at salvation, which is a gift of faith, um, the Holy Spirit comes in and He enables us with the reading of the Word to now grow in that faith. And so um, that faith... Is also needs to be accompanied by works because if you really believe in something you're gonna now um, have an outworking in your life and that outworking um, must be accompanied by works and that's why James says faith without works is dead um, faith is not just uh, an intellectual understanding um, it, it comes with an action it's in a verb uh, and so it needs to be outworked um, by steps of faith that we will do on a daily basis. Um, just wanted to read from Romans 14 verse 23. But he who doubts is condemned if he eats, because eating is not from faith. And whatever is not from faith is sin. So even if we believe in something that's not necessarily some sinful, like whether you eat pork, whether you believe you can eat pork or don't eat pork, it's not sinful. Um, but if, even if you believe in something that's um, a pref preferential thing that you may have got wrong, if you believe God is unhappy with you and you go and do that thing, you are sinning. And if we cause someone else to do that thing, then we're sinning by causing that brother to stumble. And so it's so important that we have the convictions of the truth and then we act out those convictions in faith towards God. Amen.